Then another busy day. I'm actually getting ready to go out of town. So I need to get things prepped so I can, you know, do that. So uh, what I've been doing back here, this has had a fresh water change. By fresh water change, I mean I have heavily, heavily watered all the plants. I actually watered yesterday and then I watered again today. That way the moisture just kind of sticks around a little bit longer. The reason for that is because I think while I'm gone, the heaters are going to be off out here. And I'm going to turn off about 50% of the lighting. I want to do that because the person who's watching the house is, like, deathly afraid of space heaters. Which, I mean, rightfully so. They're pretty dangerous. I do my best to make sure there's never debris or anything around them. But still, I, I get it. So I figured the best plan of action here for that was to go ahead and water extremely thoroughly before I leave and uh, allow a day in between for them to start to dry out before the heaters go off. It is currently 81 degrees out here and it's been in the 80s all day. I actually shut the heaters off a little while ago because it got up to 88 and I was like, this is, this is too much for me. Couldn't handle it. It was just, I could, it was just way too hot. So, got the temperatures down to 81. P plants are already starting to dry out somewhat, not completely. The, I'm only going to be gone for a few days, so about four and a half, five days. By the time this vlog comes out, I, I'll be home. I have this thing about not wanting to share with the internet when I'm going to be out of town, because that's like advertising that your house is vulnerable and so are your things, so it just doesn't seem that smart. Just doesn't seem that smart. I'm repeating myself. My brain is flustered with all the things I need to do. But yeah, I leave in the morning, so right now I'm just getting things done. I planted a synangium back here. I put that in there. I was going to put some pothos in there. The problem is anything that comes over, like is anything that drapes over the edge of that, the koi snatch it. If it dangles into the water, they're going to eat it, which is what happened here with this chlorophytum. They snatched it. And it was barely even in the water, so I think that the Sunungium, I think that will do much better since it's going to grow upwards. I'll just toss that back there for now. I did, I originally had wanted to put a bunch of plants in here, but I've been trying to get the tannins out from the Catapa leaves. Just like I mentioned last week, I want to be able to see to the bottom in a crystal clear manner because of the sturgeon. See the sturgeon? There's one right there, and the other one just, it just disappeared. There it is. It's over here. But they just, they disappear into the bottom of this thing. And I can scrub the bottom, get some of that algae off of there. But I don't want to have to do that all the time. I just need to be able to see them, make sure that they're doing well. So that's happened. The water's cleared up now, so that's great. Oh, look at nice, there's a new flower popping out of the anthurium. That's nice. And one thing I like to do when I go out of town, just because I have so many pets and the plants and everything, I like to simplify things as much as possible. So I'm combining all their food into a big jar. I'm going to mix it up. And I've just said to go ahead and put about half to 75% of one of these cups in there twice a day. I need to get more food, though. This needs, this has a combination of food in it. It has New Life Spectrum. No, it doesn't. That's what I need to go get. It has some uh, Tetra, Pro, Tetra Pro Tropical Crisps, which are just kind of, there's Danios in here. They'll munch on that. There are Sterlet Sticks, which have 50% protein in it. It's great for the sturgeon. There's some Tetrapon sticks, some Hikari gold koi food. It's a, it's a blend of foods. It's a blend of foods that some floats, some sinks, and at different speeds because... Lord, I had to pause things just so I could take a breath. It, that way, it, food can sink to the bottom for the sturgeon while the koi are more distracted eating the stuff up top. So it's the, that's the thing. Sturgeon need food with at least 44% protein in it. So that's the, uh, the koi don't need that. I've been over it so many times. Oh, and look what happened just like literally within the last two days. Got some new leaves popping out here on the Ficus larata, the fiddle leaf fig. So that's great news. Not seeing anything going on up there, which I'm not really surprised by, but it's coming out of the trunk, so that's pretty awesome. Like I had said I wasn't really certain how that was going to go. I'll come over here, flip the laundry. Someone left the TV on really loud. And I'm one of these people where I really like to come home to everything being really clean and tidy. And uh, that's not... Like, I don't want to have to come home and do laundry. I don't like to come home to having dirty laundry, actually. And I was, I'm not going to do this, but I was tempted to just be like, you know, I could just wear a towel or the robe for the rest of the night and just like, I could just be naked. And then whatever I wear tomorrow is what I'm traveling in. And then when I come home, the only dirty laundry I have will be in my suitcase and I can just throw everything in the, it would be amazing. But I, I'm not going to do that. Look in! Feeling much better, aren't you? What are you doing? I love you so much, Pumpkin. And Toby, both my babies here. He's so cute. 
Oh, and I hadn't mentioned I've challenged myself to do a no edit video. I'm sure that probably won't work out, but this camera has a pause button on it. It does space things kind of far apart, so the gaps are sort of long and dramatic. Wait, 37. Nope, this is the wrong food. Yeah, okay. This is the wrong size. Like I said, you've probably noticed the pauses are a little bit dramatic. But by doing it this way, one, it's good practice to stay on top of what I'm trying to say and narrate things. And uh, then I can have the video edited and ready to go out when I get home. Hey, honey. I do have to pee, though, so y'all can't come along with me for that. It might seem a bit ridiculous and over the top. The way I see it, though, uh, since uh, my flight's not getting in until Friday evening and the vlogs come out on Saturdays, there's no way I'm going to be able to edit what I'm doing while I'm out of town. Have to remember to breathe. See, that's the thing with speaking. You have to remember to breathe in between things, otherwise you have to pause constantly. So what I'm saying is I have to remember that when I get home, where's my, what was I doing? I'm not going to have time to edit a video from what I was doing that week. So it'll be out next week. You've been following me everywhere. Punky, I love you so much. Did you do something, or are you just being cute? You gotta lay it down, what'd you do, Toby? Toby, what'd you do, Toby? I don't think you did anything, you're a good boy. You can give him a kiss, Pumpkin? You can give, give Toby a kiss? Oh, good girl. That was really nice. Uh, I left the tortoise out of the vlog last week, so here he is. He's sleeping, being a tortoise. Actually, he has a UVB and UV set up over there, and he decides to sleep in the dark, which makes sense. And heat as well, lots of heat. I've rigged this up for the person who's watching, my sister. Uh, sister's watching the house, I have to be secretive about it, because I'll be home by then, but my parrots hate her. Like, they hate her. So what I've done here is I've taken a measuring cup and put it on this spoon here, so she can just scoop some food up like that. I mean, probably use the hand, that would be easier. And then can just kind of dump it in there. Because they will bite her. They will definitely get her. Sometimes that's just how birds are. They have a selective group of people that are part of their flock, and they decide who's in it and who isn't. And uh, she is she is not part of the flock as far as they're concerned. Okay, back to prepping the food. Oh, good thing I noticed this. This is expired. Well, about to expire by the time this... Why is my time... Is this upside down? The time step on the front end, you know what I'm talking about. There's like a little countdown thing on my screen. It was upside. Doesn't matter. Uh, if this expires December of 2018, which this video will be out in January, but it's December right now, that means that this was probably made like three years ago. That's a, that's a shame. That's one of the problems with the really big companies and fish food is that they make them in huge, huge batches. So the food, when you buy it, if it looks like it's going to expire very, very soon, it's probably very old. So I went ahead and I just dumped the whole thing in here. It's like, all right, let's go ahead, use that up. And then I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to continue using the NLS, the New Life Spectrum. It's a good food. Especially as far as mass-produced foods go, but it just, it really clouds my water up, and I'm not a fan of that. It didn't, it, when I, okay, here's what I'm trying to say. In my fish tanks, when I've used it in my fish tanks, I didn't really have that problem. Out here in the pond, I think maybe because it's such a larger quantity of it that gets used that it just, it clouds things up. And then... That's also potentially just maybe from overfeeding, but with the sturgeon that are in here, I highly, oh, my voice cracked. I highly, highly, highly doubt that there's going to be food left over on the bottom. You'll notice there aren't a lot of the pond sticks in here just because they're really not the most nutritious food. Neither are the crisps, but like I said, it's just kind of to create different layers of food in the water column. That way the sturgeon have a chance to get to the food when it sinks to the bottom. Come over here and see because I assumed about 75% of one of these cups would be about right for twice a day. I mean, that's that's closer to 50%, but let's let's see here. Uh I'd say that's pretty close to how much I feed them, but maybe a little bit heavier. So I'm going to go ahead and change the note to 25 to 50% of the cup because that's that's an awful lot of food. It doesn't help that the filters suck up food before the fish get to them, and that clouds things too because it gets stuck into the filter pads. Also, should be storing this in a container that's not clear, but it's not going to be out in the sun, so I guess that doesn't really matter this time of year. If I, I mentioned in last week's vlog, I've ordered check valves, and what check valves are is you put them on your tubing, 
and it has a little, it's like an adapter that has a flap in it, and the flap stays open when water's moving up and through your tubing, but then when water stops moving, that little flap goes like this, and water can't back flush. I need that. I need that because if the power goes out or if I shut the power off, the water siphons back down through the pumps and then all the crud in the filter comes back into the water, which is extremely counterproductive. So, but those haven't come yet. I'm going to double check things. I'm wondering if maybe the order got canceled because it's been forever. Once those arrive, though, I'm going to have all these set up onto a switch so I can just hit a switch, turn the pumps off while I'm feeding just for like five or ten minutes and keep the air circulation. There's an air pump that's back in the corner. That will stay on at all times, but that way they have a chance to actually get to the food before it gets sucked up into the pump and not go into the filters and cloud things up. Want to see something I got for Christmas? Isn't it cute? The hats. These are actually Christmas ornaments, but I bought them just to be stupid, and I had them clipped in my hair on Christmas Day, and they ended up in there. But this is just, it's a little narwhal planter. You just, like, stick a succulent in there. I thought this was adorable. It was on like the Amazon recommended pages and somebody else saw it and they're like, oh, you'd want that. And I was like, yes, you know me very well. I definitely would want that. I did want it and I'm happy to have it. I also picked up these mugs at my local grocery store. These were in clearance. Buy one, get one. So they would be, what's that say? So two bucks a pop. Look at how big these things are. These are huge. I'm not going to ever drink that much coffee because I would probably die, but I figured that it would be good for making some little planters, gift type planters, if I ever need to toss something together real quick to give to somebody. Oh, and someone gave me a donut mug. Very cute. I really like mugs. I have noticed this. I have my little mermaid mug over here and these guys and cabinets full of them. And I just, the problem is I don't really drink that much coffee at home. I try and drink tea at home and then coffee's like a treat and I buy it for myself like once to twice a week out at like Starbucks. So I have all these mugs and I don't really use them. I mostly put flowers in them because that's that's just what's cuter to put plants in them since I don't really drink out of them. And they're cheap and fun to have around and anytime you give someone a plant in a mug they're like oh it's so cute. I'm like yes it is. Perfect gift right? You're welcome. I still have all of this stuff to get ready to travel with. I have a new thingy here, 256 gigabytes. That's a nice big size storage device. My aquifer, always take this with me. Amazing for chapped lips. My lips get so dry on airplanes. Eye drops, really exciting. This thermometer, so I actually got this for my friend because, hey, what are you doing? Anyways, I got this for my friend because she told me she just bought a new thermometer and then without thinking, put it in her dog's butt because her dog was sick. And I was like, okay, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna buy you a new one. So, don't watch this video. If you did, then you just ruined one of your presents. Hey, Toby. I'm always telling people to not watch the videos until you've gotten your presents. And I also got... Wait, that tail. That tail's going. You happy? These things right here. Have you ever tried one of these Lennox, the faux velvet blank or plush blank? They are so soft. Like, just heavenly soft. It's a full queen. I needed a king, but that's okay. I don't care. Just use it as a throw. So incredibly comfortable. And a new mattress topper, which you can't really see it, but it's in there. Really excited about that. I just have a pretty cheap mattress, but I keep a topper on it. And that topper just, it makes the biggest difference in the world. But if you don't change it often, then it doesn't really matter. Seems like every few years. Got a new sound bar, or my only sound bar. I don't have any sound bar, so I'm really excited about that. That is a pretty big major present. Oh, and a new Swarovski ornament. The holiday ball. Got a nice star in it. Isn't it pretty? And a new Swarovski bell. So pretty. Actually, this one's not new. I think this is the 2016 one. I picked these up from Walmart. They're ornaments, but I was like, this might make a fun cat toy. Pumpkin, you want to play with it? Go get it. You're probably just going to sniff it and walk away. That would be my guess. And my mom got me this knockoff Swarovski ornament. I don't think she realized that that's what it was. But here's the box with Swarovski, their, like, annual edition holiday ornament. And then here is the box that this one came in. It's from, but Zingban, whatever that says. But this is the fake. And let me see if I can find the real one on the tree. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to put these next to each other so you can see this. I mean, look at that. These are identical, except really, though... The fake one is way, way, way prettier. And watch, I can even, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but look, like they are identical. I don't know how they're getting away with that, but that's crazy to me. One was like 20 and I think the other one's like 50 or 60. And like I said, the cheap $20 one is like, this is way, way, way prettier. 
Might just be glass, I don't know, but I mean, look at how it sparkles. That's all I care about, just show me the sparkles. Show me the sparkles. Why do I say that so weird? Okay, say everything weird, that's fine. I'm thinking I'm gonna put these in the garage. Only because my little sister, she's bringing her cats with her, and my cats can't get up here. They can't jump that high, but hers do, and they chew on plants. So, just to be safe, we'll go ahead and put these outside. Okay, so these are out, just kind of hanging out on the darker part of the garage, because I think they'll actually do better there. I had, as I mentioned, I didn't want to, like, have everything in a heat, warm, warm, heated... What am I trying to say? Since the heaters are going to be off, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, the heaters are going to be off, the lights are going to be at 50%, so there's no reason to have them in a moist area. That wouldn't make sense. I am going to go ahead and soak all of the orchids, mostly the vandas. I'm going to soak them very, 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 very heavily because I don't... She's not going to be able to water these. I don't think that that's... A, a green thumb, that's not her. That's not her thing. So I'm going to give them a heavy soak. The lights will be dim. They should be okay. Like I said, it's going to be like four and a half days. Should be fine. When I was looking at the forecast, it's looking like things aren't supposed to be terribly cold, so it shouldn't be an issue. I don't think it'll be an issue anyways, because uh, like the coldest night's going to be 24 Fahrenheit, which I know is very cold, but this area is insulated, so it should stay at least 20 degrees warmer than that. And obviously for like the orchids and everything, I would prefer temperatures to be much warmer than that, but if it's only for a few days and things are dark and they're dry, they'll be okay. As long as it's not frost temperatures, there won't be any issues. This is typically what I've always done when I've traveled during the winter time, and it's always worked out well, and I've been gone for way longer than four or five days before, and everything was fine. The downside to it, though, is that one of the fun things about traveling for me is coming home and getting to see how much everything's grown, and that's not going to be a thing when I'm basically telling them all to just, like, hit the pause button for a week. Ever set your camera down somewhere, and then you see what it's looking at, and you're like, hey, that's kind of pretty, even though it shouldn't be? That's, that's what's happening right now for me with this situation. Really shouldn't be pretty, but for some reason, I thought that looks nice. Uh, okay, so I don't know how I did here. Thought it'd be fun to challenge myself to do a stream of consciousness vlog. That's really what this is, although I don't know if having a pause button is cheating. But, I mean, if you have it, I have it. I'm going to use it. So she was like, I have a tiny bladder. I can't vlog through that. But it's more about the duration. The pause buttons on these cameras, they, like, when you pause them, they kind of keep what was happening right before, and then they start up, like, half a second later. So I think things end up being kind of jumpy and jumbled, but I won't really know until I sit down and look at this. So if that's the case, sorry, and I won't do it again. Or I will, and I'll just fix it. But I don't have time to fix it. I gotta get ready to go. At least this time, I won't fix it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Right now, I don't have time. Oh, look what I just noticed. It's got a flower spike. This is my, I believe this, yes, this is definitely the Epilalia catlia, um, right? This is the EPLC Rene Marquis. Marquise? Marquise? I don't know. Excited about that. It didn't bloom for me last year because I, I underpotted it and it wasn't, it wasn't happy with me. But that's, re that's really awesome. I'm super excited to see that. Also have some flowers coming up over here and they're, you know, pretty orchid flowers. There's a lot of reflection on them. I'll hold the camera over here and hope that... Why is it autofocusing in the corner? Autofocus in the center. Who filmed something in the corner? There we go. Yeah, look, pretty. And then there's some dendrobiums over here blooming too. This is one of my Aussie dens whose name escapes me, but it's uh, it's from Sunset Valley Orchids, and it's really pretty. It smells very, very, very nice. Kind of sweet, spicy, citrusy. Oh, and this Latoria is blooming too, though doesn't want to focus, and it looks like there's some bud blast here. That's all right. I think that maybe it was a bit too much on the heavy watering with them. Come on. Focus, please. I know things are dark over here. It's hard when things aren't bright to get things to focus. But it actually, I'm so surprised that it's blooming, and I think it has a few more spikes coming up on it. So all hope is not lost. Oh, and look, some more flower spikes here on this one. It's another Aussie species. It's not, not going to focus. Now, those should still be in bloom when I get back, and I can do a whole, like, what's in flower kind of thing there. That'll be fun. Okay, I'm gonna run. Like I said, I don't know how this came out. Hopefully it came out well. I, I don't know. Hope y'all are doing well, having a great time. Life is great. Everything's beautiful and magical and whatnot. And if you would like to, I'd appreciate it. You could leave the video a thumbs up. It'd mean a lot to me. Thank you for doing that. And subscribe as well. Upload multiple times a week. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. This is not really a typical video, though my last vlog is going to be very similar to this, but pieced together a little bit differently. I just, things have been busy right now, and I'm trying to take it easy. I don't really feel like sitting down and spending four hours editing a video. I hope you guys understand 
just part of the holiday break, but I still want to stay in touch with everybody. Because, you know, y'all my, my gardening peeps. Yeah, next weekend, Florida vlog, more than likely. So I hope everybody's doing well. I know I said that, but I say it again because I mean it. And as always, everybody, most importantly, keep a... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. It's down there in the description. That way, you'll actually know what I've been doing this whole time if you do that, because that, that'll it'll all be posted there. So now, now we can go. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. <laughs>